Hello, friends and family. Um, today was spider delivery day, so I made a video unboxing the four tarantulas I bought and rehousing them, so that's what this video is. I hope you'll like it. It's me coming live to you from my bathtub. Not really live. Also, um, I have my ring light set up in my bathtub, so for better lighting. <laughs> anyway, I have live animals, my spiders, and a knife, and some enclosures. I'm not sure if the enclosures will be too big for them because it's sometimes hard to tell how big they're going to be when they get to you. They tell you online, but even with like the measurements, it's still kind of hard because they can be a little bit off, you know? Anywho, I'm opening the box. Inside we have this little Fear Not Tarantulas. Look, oh beauty YouTuber. Fear Not Tarantulas card for support if I have a problem. It's packed really nice. It's in, a, in the plastic box, in a styrofoam box. And also, I'll show you. They have the heat pack right here. And then it's separated from the actual spiders by this, so they don't get too hot, which is nice. So, I'm so excited. All right. Okay. So, what is this? Okay. So I'll tape together. Oh shit, I need tweezers. I'll be right back. Good job. Okay. So, first, I want to unpack the Grandma Stola. A Grandma Stola polka. Brazilian black. I want to unpack this one first just because it's the biggest one. And I made this little, nice little enclosure for it. So I hope it fits in there. We'll see. I'm very excited. Oh, there it is. There it is. See his little butt? Fuck, I should have a paintbrush. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. All right, I'm just gonna set him in this in here for now because his butt is facing me. So I'm gonna have to try to roll him out, but I wanna go get um, a little brush to do that with. So let's see if I can unroll this little guy without him getting all feisty. Oh, he's his little leg. He's really, really small. I feel bad flipping him around like this. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, don't go anywhere. He's going the wrong way. Go on. There you go. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh my gosh. He, he, oh, you're not gonna be able to see him really, but he's right there. I'll get better shots of him later. Oh, he's tiny. He's hiding under a leaf. All right, I'm gonna leave him. To settle down <coughs> in there now. Um, really tiny and cute. These, when they get big, are like, they're just all black, like velvety black. They're beautiful. So. Let's see how big this little Trinidad olive is. He's supposed to go in this 
container, but he came in this vial, so he's really tiny. Um, I'm gonna see how he looks in there, and then if he looks too small, like, I can't lose him in there or something, I'll just get him a bigger one, but we'll see what he looks like when I take him out. Because sometimes you can't always tell. Oh, tiny. But honestly, I think he'll be okay in here, so. There's little butt. Little butt. Let's try to get this guy out. Slowly. This is a dwarf species, so they don't get very big. They stay really tiny, pretty much. Not really, really tiny, but pretty tiny. Oh, he's moving his little legs. I, I hate unrolling them. I think it scares me. I can't see where he is. I don't want him to fall out, because he can hurt himself. Or herself. Or themselves. Oh, you little guy. He's balled up in there. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, he's scared. very small. I want to poke him in. I know his little leg was moving so he's alive. He's probably just scared. It's, he's had a long day. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Put the lid on. I, oh, not the little foot. You, but this boy. Get that little foot down. He's really small in there. I don't know if you can even, he's right there. Really, <laughs> oh, he's freaking out. Really, really tiny. But, um, this might do. We'll have to see. He's <laughs> super small. Hopefully he settles in and not in, up in this corner where he is right now, but we'll leave him alone for now. All right, this one, <laughs> has a little caution note on it to unpack very carefully because it's really really tiny so i'm assuming it's going to be like the size of that um the kokiana brunipus that i have which is really tiny but it's like one fourth of an inch maybe anyway this is the enclosure that this guy's going in so this is gonna be difficult to do. Um, but I'm going to try it. My like tweezers. Oh. Okay. oh yeah, he's real tiny. He's almost got some of his colors though already, which is pretty cool. Oh god, he's going crazy. Nobody. I don't know how I'm gonna put this one out without losing him. I wanna show you guys, but he's that speck. <laughs> he's a really small. Also a dwarf species. So, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Cool. He's in there and there's no way you guys will see him because he's really, really tiny. You can kind of even see the little heart on his butt. These Serial Cosmos species, or genus, sorry. Genus. Um, they 
all of kind of have like a similar, not all of them, but a lot of them have like a similar heart shape on their abdomen when they're big, which is really cute. And you can kind of see the tiny heart. But anyway, I'm just gonna set him down now so he stops freaking out. Now on to the GBB. I think I wanna start him with something smaller though. I'm gonna look for something smaller. I made a new enclosure. Also, when I was out of the bathroom, Atlas knocked over the smallest spider in its enclosures, and I, now I cannot find it in there, so I'm gonna have to look after this. So hopefully it's okay. Um, anyway. Here's the green bottle blue, or the chromatopelma cyanopubescens. This is the one that I'm super, super excited for. I don't know if I already said that. I probably did. But, um, they're so, so beautiful. They're just beautiful little spiders. Now I'm just looking for all my other spiders. Like, is everybody okay? Anyway. Oh, God. He's right there. <laughs> He's, oh, he came right out. Holy shit. Well, <laughs> he's in there. He's got an adorable butt. He's really cute. Okay, well, that was that. <laughs> Hopefully he's happy in his new home. So now that you guys watched me unbox the spiders and put them into their new homes, I realized it was pretty hard to see them. And then there were like a couple that I couldn't even show because they were so crazy when I was putting them in their new homes. But um, because of that, I'm going to just insert some photos of them or what they will look like as adults after this, so. Well, that was it for my unboxing and rehousing video of the four tarantulas I got today. Um, maybe I'll do more of these eventually. They're fun. I don't know. I like to talk about spiders, so. Cool. <laughs>